Happy Halloween and aloha, everyone. Welcome to, I was going to say Lillian's Vegan World, but I think I'm going to change it to Superwoman's Vegan World today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm Lillian Kumik, your host. And I just realized that I have never actually introduced myself on my own show. <laughs> so I think people understand that I'm Lillian of Lillian's Vegan World. But anyway, so welcome to the show. Um, it's Halloween today here in gorgeous, uh, sunny Honolulu. We're coming to you live from the ThinkTech Hawaii studios in downtown Honolulu. Today, I'm so, so happy to have two of my dear friends on the show as guests. And I would love to introduce them both. Welcome to the show. Aloha. David and Iris Haji. Are you brother and sister or are you married? We are married. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Just clearing Just that up. <laughs> I didn't even know you had a job until today. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, David and Iris, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to get you on for a fun one because you and I, you guys and I are always laughing <laughs> um, through some fun times. So uh, I would like to tell everyone how you and I you both and I met. Mm -hmm. So we were walking down the street one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> so um, as most of the viewers know, I'm a vegan chef and cooking instructor and uh, also vegan lifestyle coach from Sydney, Australia. But I did spend 30 years in Japan. Anyway, I just moved to the islands, to Honolulu, last Christmas, so coming up to a year oh. very shortly. And David and Iris have been so awesome and uh, been coming to some of my events. Mm -hmm. Which yes, events have you been coming to? I've been to uh, your cheese demo, uh, your, uh, your Japanese mm -hmm. uh, dinner. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. last night, the seven-course mm -hmm. vegan Italian. Italian. Italian, yes. Which, and you've done also the vegan Serbian. Oh, oh dinners, that's some right. Some very right. kind of unique, I guess, um, dinners that you've come to. Mm -hmm. All of which are vegan, mm -hmm. meaning plant-based. So no meat, no fish, no dairy, no poultry, no fowl. Um, mm -hmm. Also no honey and figs. <laughs> 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 so that's, yeah, that's what pretty much what plant-based food is. Just no animal products whatsoever. and no animal byproducts. Now, are you guys on a, following a plant-based diet? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Iris, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how did you start your journey on this healthy lifestyle? Um, I attended the Ekahi Ornish program mm -hmm. for nine weeks. And um, the reason why I went to it was, you know, for health reasons. Yes. And um, I saw a lot of results, and um, I told David that because insurance paid, and you know there was a time commitment and whatnot, that mm -hmm. I didn't want to um, as much as possible. I wanted to stay on being plant based. Yeah, and yeah. why is that? Um, it it just makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. I'm full, but I'm not overstuffed and okay it's a it's a different type of feeling mm. yeah. so how how long ago was it that you went through the uh, program it's been about a year and a half mm -hmm. almost two years oh, yeah. okay yeah. and that's fantastic to hear that you are still maintaining mm -hmm. the plant-based mm -hmm. diet um, because it is difficult I mean it's mm -hmm. not it's not easy to suddenly you know go from eating a regular American diet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a diet that you're used to, say, you know, living in a place like Hawaii, to a completely vegan diet. I'm sure it's mm -hmm. quite difficult. But as you just pointed out, there are so many reasons why um, mm -hmm. you should really keep trying to stay on it mm -hmm. because the results just keep coming to you. I mean, right. year after year after year, I think people just they change their whole body and mm -hmm. their health, also mm -hmm. their their well-being, like mm -hmm. the way that they think about food and become right. much more aware of food. So today's show is going to be interesting because we are going to talk a lot about food, plant-based food and um, some fun, fun facts and trivia. So mm -hmm. David, before we go on, are you also on a plant-based diet? Uh, no, mm -hmm. but um, I've uh, 
sort of like turned it toward that. And right. it's, it's really, I can tell the benefits uh-huh. you know, as far as energy level and uh, just, uh, you know, uh, not being uh, tired and, you know, uh, always full. And yes. That's one thing that a lot of people notice. They become less uh, sluggish, mm-hmm. especially after they eat. You know, mm-hmm. I, I notice that a lot of people, especially coming up to the holidays when you're, you know, everyone's mm-hmm. sort of stuffing their faces and getting all that holiday food in, mm-hmm. which is great. I mean, I love to eat too, but you don't get that sort of downer after eating plant-based food where you just get into a food coma mm-hmm. and you need to lie down and mm-hmm. breathe, which is what I see mm-hmm. a lot you know, with people who are just eating lots of mm. animal products. Mm-hmm. So that, that is true. Um, and it's good, good to uh, know that you're being encouraged to, I guess, eat more plant-based given that you're with, mm-hmm. you know, living together. Yes. Who does the cooking at home? Me. Yeah, <laughs> Iris, okay. So then you, yeah. would, you would be more cooking more plant-based mm-hmm. or? Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, you know, he goes to work and... Yeah. Mm-hmm. can eat whatever he wants. Yes, but that's, a, that's yeah. the good thing about it. Yeah. I mean, uh, everybody, you can't make someone become vegan. And yes. the point of my show and what I do is not to force people into mm-hmm. veganism, mm-hmm. Uh, not by any means. You know, mm-hmm. everybody has to make their own choices. And if they decide that they want to do this on a more, you know, serious level and cut out the animal products, I, you know, I encourage it because... At the end of the day, I never, I have never in my life met a vegan that said they don't feel good. Mm. So mm-hmm. there's yes. got to be some, yeah, right. some truth right. there. And lucky for you, David, today I'm Superwoman, oh, okay. and I have special powers. So I'm going to turn you vegan <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> today. <laughs> yes. There you go. That was quick. <laughs> okay. So how about some fun vegan facts and trivia? Okay. All right. First of all, there was a a new report um, from the personal finance website, Wallet Mm. Hulu, that actually just ranked uh, Honolulu 35 or 35th out of 100 cities in the US Mm. that are the best city to live in if you are vegan or vegetarian. Mm. Wow. Number 35 out of 100. So that Mm. goes to show that Honolulu is kind of... And, and I see it as well. I'm starting mm-hmm. to see more options on, no, on res, mm-hmm. restaurant menus mm-hmm. that are not vegan restaurants. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes. yeah, it's a sign that yeah. Hawaii yeah. is into it. Yeah. <laughs> because, and, this, and discovering that, oh, look, you know, they never had this before. It was a vegan option. And yes. Having it now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't remember the percentage, and I don't want to quote something that's mm-hmm. incorrect, but. Um, most of the, for ex- not most of, but a lot of the vegan uh, meats out there, the Impossible Burgers mm-hmm. and the uh, Beyond Burgers that are selling out, they're not all uh, consumed by vegans. Mm-hmm. Like it's something yes. like around half or just under half, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. that are being consumed by people who are not on a plant-based mm-hmm. diet. So people are starting to enjoy these options. So mm-hmm. that's a good sign. Mm-hmm. All right, a vegan in one year spares about the life of 30 animals each year mm-hmm. by going vegan. This was a shocker for me, this one. And all of these facts are according to various websites, but I did choose a lot from, in particular, three. Choose Veg, do some, do something.org and The Flaming Vegan. So I've... And pretty much everything else I'm seeing is reflecting, you know, the same sort of information. Mm. All right, so um, about 150 billion animals are killed and slaughtered uh, annually for meat consumption Mm -hmm. in the world. So that was quite shocking for me to hear. Um, Here's another interesting fact. Being vegan cuts your footprint by about half. Oh, and I have big feet. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow, that's interesting. By about half. And again, whichever um, source you get the information from, it it pretty much is coming to about about half a lot of studies are showing. All right. 
Approximately. Did, did you ever think about how many vegans or vegetarians there are in your country, in the States? Mm. All right. So approximately 5% of the US population are either vegan or vegetarian, and that comes to close to 16 million. And about half of that percentage are vegan. Again, this is a very, you know, sort of rough oh. estimate. No one knows for sure, but they're saying about in the States alone, 7.5 million. That's a lot of burgers, mm -hmm. impossible burgers. <laughs> That's a, it sounds like a lot, but when you think that it's only about 2.5% of the population, mm -hmm. still got a lot, you know, a long way to go, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's, it's good news. Here's something that I think everybody kind of has heard before, that vegans tend to have lower rates of cancer than most meat mm -hmm. eaters and vegetarians. Mm -hmm. So vegan women, this is according to do something.org, uh, uh, pardon me, vegan women had 34% lower rates of female specific cancers like breast, cervical and ovarian cancer. And the similar results were found in men with prostate cancer. 34% mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. less, wow. that's a lot. Um, so there's a study done by Nobel Prize winner Elizabeth Blackburn. That, and she found that a vegan diet caused more than 500 genes to change in three months, turning on genes that prevent disease and turning off genes that cause cancer, heart disease and other illnesses. Oh, I thought yeah. that was amazing. So yeah. she's interesting wow. to Google Elizabeth Blackburn, yeah, Nobel Prize winner. So she had a, mm -hmm. she did a lot of studies, and um, I, yeah, incredible. So it's just okay. Another fact: shockingly, every hour in the U.S., five hundred thousand animals are killed every hour. Every hour. Really? Every wow. hour killed for their meat. Five hundred thousand animals every hour, every day. Mm. Wow. That's a lot of animals. <laughs> All right, here's one that I thought, it, not interesting again, <laughs> everything's kind of shocking for me. But anyway, another fact, Costco, how many chickens do you think they sell a year? Oh. I was listening oh, to no. the radio and heard this. A million? Oh. <laughs> All right, a, a million, you think? What, what would you say, David? Oh, five million. I mean, a okay, lot. Okay, get this. 60 million <laughs> per year. And on that million. note, <laughs> we're going to take a break 60. and uh, be back with more fun vegan facts and trivia. See you after the break. Thanks to our Think Tech underwriters and grantors, the Atherton Family Foundation, Carol Monley and the Friends of Think Tech, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, Collateral Analytics. The Cook Foundation, Dwayne Carisu, the Hawaii Community Foundation, the Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners, Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, Hawaiian Electric Company, Integrated Security Technologies, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Kamehameha Schools, MW Group, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sydney Stern Memorial Trust, Volo Foundation, Yuriko J. Sugimura. Thanks so much to you all. Welcome back again to Superwoman's Vegan World. <laughs> <laughs> where we talk about veganism and the plant-based diet. I'm here with my awesome guests and dear friends of mine, Iris and David Hudgie. Um, David, did you notice um, your wife's title on the screen? Yes, I did. Okay, I just want you to keep that in mind when you go home today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, guys, I, we are talking about these are really not fun facts, are they? So we'll go into mm. some fun ones. And while we're chatting about some more, you know, 
vegan trivia, I would like to show you a video uh, of what I've been cooking up this month in October in my cooking classes and my dinners. So if we can show that video while we run through some more fun facts, that would be cool. So here are some things that you can um, buy on a, sorry, that you can eat on a vegan diet. While we're doing that, while we're doing that, let's talk about that you didn't know it's vegan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. So here are some vegan foods that a lot of people actually don't know are vegan. And we refer to these um, sometimes as accidentally vegan. All right. Mm. The biggest one that I think freaks or surprises a lot of people who aren't vegan is that Oreos <laughs> are vegan. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, who would think? I, yeah. I really don't know anything about Oreos. I do have them in several flavors in my cupboard. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> and they disappear magically. Oh. So. <laughs> but the thing is, it's the ones that are made in America that are that are vegan because the ones made in Japan, mm. let's say, are not. So you do still have to be careful. Mm. All right, another food that's vegan, accidentally vegan, Ritz crackers. Mm. Oh. Mm, okay. Well, Iris, with the like, the, this is like a buttery taste. I'm not sure something. about the ones yeah. with the fillings, yeah. so I, I have to, mm -hmm. I do have to say, uh, we might have to check with that. But the plain, yeah, yeah. Ritz crack, crackers. Okay. Iris, you, your eyes just lit up when I told you that. <laughs> Are you like going to be dreaming of a little red box tonight? <laughs> 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 this is my vegan um, gyoza mm. or dumplings. Mm. Made with king oyster mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> so that's that's another fun thing that you can eat on a vegan diet. Mm -hmm. I actually have about two hundred recipes on my Lillian Vegan YouTube channel. You can also find lots of uh, vegan recipes and uh, tips and stuff on my Facebook channel, also Lillian Vegan, and my webpage again, Lillian Vegan. Superwoman today, <laughs> all day. Yeah, I'll be. All day. My husband is gonna have get it tonight. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm gonna use all my superpowers yeah. to do all the things that I want to do. All right. So getting back to bed, she didn't know it's vegan. Jello cook, cook and serve vanilla pudding and pie filling. I've never mm. tried this, but I didn't know that was vegan. Stuff like that. Here's another one that I thought was interesting, Campbell's Mushroom Gravy, the oh. canned yeah. gravy. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I you're, mean, are you like going like, to go on a bit of a shopping <laughs> spree after this? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something I use a lot for bases for my little party pies, crescent rolls. Mm. I think we've mm. done a recipe together yeah. in one of my classes. Vegan. Um, Fritos corn chips. Oh. <laughs> I love those little scoopy things. Like they, you can, they just work really yeah. well. <laughs> I, but remember, um, everything in moderation. <laughs> Children. <Yes. laughs> um, Duncan Hines whipped frosting and classic cake, oh. cake mixes. Yeah. Oh wow! Vegan. There's again. Uh, I'm not telling anyone to go out and buy all these things because they're all processed. There's a lot of mm. stuff in there you can't even pronounce, and that's always a scary thing. But this is just for some trivia to let you know, you know what things are. How about this one? Kettle Brands potato chips, maple bacon flavor. Oh. <laughs> oh, now David, so now David's yeah. eyes just slid yeah. up. <laughs> maple bacon. I know, and even more. Interesting yeah. or surprising, Betty Crocker Baco's bacon flavor bits, <laughs> vegan. Oh wow! Isn't that interesting? I've yeah, never tried. tried I have. Yeah. I mean, on this list, I'm telling you about. I've tried the crescent rolls, Oreos, mm -hmm. Ritz crackers, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was very excited yeah. when I found that out a couple of years ago. <laughs> Um, Kellogg's Pop Tarts in unfrosted strawberry, blueberry, and brown sugar. 
Pepperidge Farm pastry, puff pastry sheets. This is another mm. thing that I do use a lot. They mm. are accidentally vegan too. Vegan puff pastry is very, very difficult to make, very time consuming. Mm. Um, mm, yeah. I don't see myself making it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now that, yeah, there's actually a few other supermarket brands that are also, also mm. accidentally vegan. Red Bull, the drink. The drink. Oh, wow. Oh. Because not all energy drinks are vegan, by the way. Mm -hmm. Some of the colouring yeah, that they that. use for colouring is, um, which I'm going to go into later. But, uh, so another accidentally vegan product, Goya Flan Custard. Mm. I don't know, is that popular yeah. here? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. no. Nesquik. Cause, cause isn't custard like an egg, egg milk yes. thing? Yes. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah. oh. that's right. So that's why all of these things are quite mm. surprising to find mm. out that they are, in right. fact, plant-based um, made from plant-based mm -hmm. ingredients. The other one was Nesquik chocolate syrup. Um, oh, wow. Smucker's marshmallow toppings. I don't even mm. know what that is, but it seems to be popular with a lot of vegans, maybe in the oh, really? States, yeah. Oh. Nutter butters. Oh. <laughs> The cookie. cookie? The cookie. Oh, oh I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, permission, permission to go ahead and pig out on, on the nutter butters. And here's, here's another thing that I, I loved. I don't eat it anymore, really, but Sara Lee cherry pies and the apple pies are vegan. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Your mm. favourite oh. cherry. Yeah. Do you like cherry pie? Yeah, yeah I oh, like okay. cherry pies, yes. Really? Oh. It's my favourite. <laughs> really? Yeah. I actually make really good cherry pie. Mm. <laughs> to try it. <laughs> For special people. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to go over to the other side of this and talk about some gross ingredients mm. in, in your food that you didn't, know, you didn't know you were eating. I think one of the things that happens when people um, sort of transition from a regular American diet where they do consume mm -hmm. animal products is once you do make that transition, you become more aware what you're eating. This was definitely the case for me. I grew up as a vegetarian, so a little bit easier my transition was. But uh, yeah, one thing I noticed, I was just reading labels. I learned how to read labels. People still mm. don't do that. Mm -hmm. And when I was doing my lifestyle coaching in Japan, one of the first things I taught my clients was how to read labels so that you know you're not eating anything that, you know, just because you you can't pronounce it, you have no idea what it is, doesn't mean it's vegan. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very mm -hmm. careful. Here are some things in food that are quite scary. So carmine is a cochineal beetle, a oh. beetle. So this crushed up, these crushed up beetles create the red dye effect that you see in a lot of candies, that oh. bright red colour. So it's also found in meat, sausage, red marmalades, jams, gelatin desserts, juices, soft drinks, sports drink, mm, wow. um, icings, toppings, uh, confections, dairy products. Starbucks patrons in 2012 were quote unquote enraged to hear that the chain was using the, the, the beetles, the calm, carmine, in their strawberry flavoured drinks which they have mm -hmm. since um, stopped doing. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So avoid the red, the red oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red's never going to be the same for you yeah. again, yeah. is it? Exactly. Um, what's your favourite jelly bean flavour? Mm, grape. The red. <laughs> grape. It's not, definitely not red. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know if it exists in the jelly beans, but yeah. yeah. All right, here's another one. This is actually an ingredient that you do see on labels quite a lot. They refer to it, the, the companies that use this product often on the labels write cellulose mm -hmm. instead of sawdust, oh. which, what it, it, what, really? it, which is what it actually is. And it's found in many prepackaged shredded cheeses, not oh. vegan cheeses. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it prevents the shreds from sticking together. And oh, one thing, I have, I have had a lot of people say to me, 
Why is the vegan cheese always so sticky, like the pizza cheese that you buy in supermarkets? Oh. I don't really buy cheese, I make my own, mm. but it kind of does have that sticky, sometimes slimy feel to it. It's because mm. it doesn't have all those additives and preservatives mm. and stuff oh, that makes it not sticky. But oh. I don't want to be eating sawdust. So yeah. look out for cellulose, good to know. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is uh, dried fish bladder. This is used as a fining agent when you make wine to filter or yeah to filter the wine. It's also it, it, the other name they use is Isinglass. It's fish bladder, and it's yeah they, it creates the golden color of beer as well. But is also used when making wine. Mm. So a lot of vegans are careful when yeah. they drink wine. Oh. Um, let's have a look at a couple of pictures while we're, we're chatting. What have we got, Eric? Uh, this is my next, mm. my next class. It's my next cooking de mm. demo. It's going to be vegan sushi. Mm. You can get all the dates for that on my um, web, web page or Facebook page, Lillian Vegan. This is uh, what we did last month or this month in mm -hmm. October, the vegan party food. And I do want to show mm. this one again because this is my newest, um, mm -hmm. my latest recipe for the vegan egg. The yolk, which is made from pumpkin, I use kabocha, oh. and then the egg white is made from rice flour. So I will be doing this in an upcoming event mm. sometime mm -hmm. in the near future. There are so many things to go through. I haven't mm -hmm. even gone through um, half of what I was expecting to talk about. But if I, can, um, if I can give you anything from today's show, it would be just to be aware of what you're mm -hmm. eating, mm -hmm. read labels, and you know, make sure you know what you're putting into mm -hmm. your body because you do want to stay healthy mm -hmm. and happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy yeah. Halloween, and I look mm -hmm. forward to seeing you both again. Yes. And to everyone else out there, I look forward to seeing you again next time on Lillian's Vegan World. Um, happy Halloween, and be safe. Aloha. Aloha.